Another strategy that we can use is to find and describe a pattern. So let's take a look at this rule here. It, the problem asks us to find the seventh term in the pattern, and the rule is to add five. They tell us that our first term is five, and our first term is already listed, and then we have blanks here to fill in the rest of these terms. So I know that from moving from my first term to my second term, I'm going to add five. And if I do that, I know I will end up with the number 10. And I'm going to continue adding five to each term until I get to that seventh term in my sequence. So I have 10 plus five is 15. And I'll keep going. You're probably starting to realize that you can just be counting by fives for this pattern. We'll continue. We're at 30 now, and I have one more final hop to make here. And I find that 30 plus 5 is 35. And so that looks like that's my seventh term in the sequence, right? Because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is my seventh term in this sequence. So my answer to this would be 35. I'm also noticing that as I look at my pattern that's developing here, my numbers are alternating between odd and even numbers. So when I have five here, my number is odd, 10 is even, 15 is odd again, 20 is even again, and that pattern continues, right? So O for odd, E for even, and then again, another odd here, right? And as we were at finding our terms here, we notice that we could be skip counting by fives because these terms are all multiples of five since our first term is five and then we add five to every term that comes after it. So finding and being able to describe a pattern or is another strategy that can help us find a specific term in a pattern.